we're going to be talking about one of my favorite things, clothing. I'm going to be showing you all a haul that I got from one of my absolute favorite, uh, sustainable fashion brands, uh, Minga, right here. They really have um, a lot of what I look for in like aesthetic and color palette and everything like that recently. A large majority of this side of my closet here with these like earth tones and grungy and everything like that. That's my favorite section currently. That is really just what I've been leaning towards and doing everything. Um, I actually found uh, Minga via through Dolls Kill before I stopped shopping on Dolls Kill. I now purchase obviously from their site and other sites that carry them, but we do have a fairly significant amount to get through so I'm just gonna cut this short and we're gonna go through and we're gonna look at all the wonderful things um hopefully I will be able to list the majority of it uh down below they do have an issue of stuff selling out stuff not being like uh, available discontinued and such um I've got some from their site, from a couple other sites, there are things on Mercari, just a wide variety of places that I use to acquire said clothing. This right here is one of my absolute favorite things ever from them. It is my like favorite cardigan. Uh, this is like my dream colorway going on right here. It's just a freaking cardigan with their logo, whatever going on it, but it is my freaking cardigan with their logo on it and my favorite color scheme. And another one of my favorite things, um, hopefully down below, maybe I'll be able to remember the names. Everything has like fancy, this is the thus and such, however skirt in forest sage. Hopefully with links and everything, I'll have the time and everything to actually write it all out for you. But it is this beautiful skirt right here. This is basically everything and anything I could possibly want in a skirt. It's this beautiful, beautiful green absolutely gorgeous it has this beautiful like rickrack something something detailing going on it's nice it's light it's airy it's beautiful this is the uh first of these skirts that i got this whole accumulation has happened over several several months of said accumulation and because i like that one so much i figured i was like okay well they got it in black exact Exact same skirt. We got it in black and we got it in brown right here. I was actually on the green one I got and then these two were, they were either pre-order, out of stock, something, something. I was waitlisted on them and it happened and I just, and they were having like a 30% off and that made me exceptionally happy because even as sustainable and whatever as they might be, they are also more expensive they didn't money 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 and i will be the first to admit that you know there is a thing where you just come to the realization and the understanding within yourself that if you are going to purchase exorbitantly expensive overpriced stuff you should at least be willing to admit it then next up i've just got a couple different t-shirts this one right here i think is my absolute favorite it's the uh keep your mind open and your mouth shut i absolutely adore the material of this again this is like the type of thing where it's like it's a disgustingly overpriced t-shirt but boy is it a really nice <laughs> disgustingly overpriced t-shirt i love the cotton of this just feels so beautiful so wonderful so smooth it's got the flow and the shape and everything that i want then we've got this really pretty one for for those of you who don't know they're like a a y2k revival <laughs> basically they take the y2k aesthetic which is what was happening when i was growing up and they market it in this new way to all the new y2kers because apparently it's aesthetic now and i'm pretty much living for it so this one here with the gray and the purples again goes really fantastic with this then we have this one right here which i don't know if y'all can see it's a little bit it's got this like stone washing left out in the rain on a bunch of leaves sort of look going to it and it has a fairy on it and then the better of the two because it's green and it's got again this just absolutely lovely picturesque perfect y2k old vintagey 
t-shirt whateverness going on. If you grew up in the era that I did, then you know, you understand what this is hearkening to. And it is absolutely wonderful and nostalgic and all things. Just, I really, really, really like these t-shirts. I've worn this one a whole freaking bunch. I wear it with jeans. I've worn it with one of those skirts before. I've worn it with my biker shorts. It's just a really nice staple go-to sort of thing for me. All of these just work really well with a whole wide variety of different things and different ways that I like to style my clothing when I'm about decorating my flesh prison. I got quite a few sweaters because a lot of their sweaters are some of my favorite. Now I will say, I will say, if you are planning on purchasing from them, um, definitely be very wary of your measurements and stuff like that because when it comes to Manga, it's like everything's oversized until it's not. And then when it's not oversized, it's kind of like anorexic juniors sizing. It's a little bit all over the place. This one here is a large, which is supposedly a US 8, which I mean, this is very, very oversized. I've got a 38, uh, 38, 40 rib cage. I got football lineback shoulders and I probably could have gotten away with this in like a medium and it still would have been plenty oversized. Now this one is my favorite one to wear just with like jeans and denim and really keeping it just very simple, very, again, just kind of straight up 90s. That's a little bit of what my aesthetic is. Discovering more and more of what I am on a non-binary level. So just really, really nice and really pretty and very, 90s and very throwback very very delias i feel for those of us who know we know this one is um the most recent one that i got because i just i just again these colors are just the green with the black and the brown i have a new love and respect and appreciation for brown especially paired with black i used to be all like everything has to be black and i'm like brown i want everything in chocolate decadent brown. And this is just, again, I love it with jeans. This one is really cute with the bike shorts. When it comes to like a lot of whatever my day-to-day -day wear, I'm pretty relaxed and I'm pretty chill and I like things that are just pretty easy and non, non complicated. You just throw it on and you're like, oh, I look dressed or I'll throw a, a collared button down over this and have the collar peeking out. I actually want to get some, it's going to sound really stupid, but I want to get some dickies. <laughs> So I can have something like the sweater, but not have like a whole shirt underneath it. But it's just, it's just, it's perfect. I love, I saw this was the only thing I got from, they did a whole new whatever capsule something. And I was like, this, this, everything about this. This is from a lot older of a collection. Well, I don't know a lot older, but older than that brown one. And this is again, just all things absolutely i've worn this one under like a jumper again really cute with jeans with that black skirt it's just got all sorts of fantastical things going for it this is freakishly freakishly i think my best friend at the time when i was like 12 or 13 i'm pretty sure she had a shirt super super similar to this and looking at it and i'm like mm, my youth but in a fashion forward stylish sense y2k but make it fashion and again i love the green i love the purple i love the brown i love the fact that it's got like this so many different colors and different ways that you can pair it and use it it's a really i really like the material of this it's knit but it's it's like a it's a knit like this but it's almost got like a a jersey stretch feel to it if that makes any kind of sense it's got the cute little almost lettuce hem going on there little lettuce hem going on here it's a little bit a little bit cropped but not like ooh, ooh cropped i'm a 32 year old woman and it is appropriately cropped for my 32 year old age although don't let age is just a number there's that one lady batty winkle who's like in her 90s and she wears platforms and pleather hot pants i'm like you go if i'm not doing that when i'm 90 i 
that's what I want to be doing. But we're doing this right now. Long story short, life is way too short to just not wear the cool clothing that you want to. I don't care what age you are. I don't care what you want to do. Just wear the clothes. Just, just wear the clothes. This one here is from the same collection that this one was here from. I did get them at different times. And this one, oh, it just feels so nice. The first time I pulled this out of the bag, I was just like, it is everything I could possibly want. It's almost like ugly sweater territory, but it's not ugly. Again, the, the colorway just, this is, this is, this is, again, everything I could possibly want. It's got just the cool, all the little details. Again, very, very like, although I feel like a bit 80s, 90s, whatever, kind of like ugly sweater situation. It's got the Minga branding embroidery right there. It's just thick and luxurious and beautiful. I haven't worn this out yet. I've got something I'm going to next, next week, and I should definitely pull this out and wear it because it is absolutely stunning. This I got in a large. I'm pretty happy with the size that I got. I probably could have gotten away with a medium and it would have been a little bit more fitted, but I'm typically fairly okay with stuff being a bit baggier. This next one is a new with tags, but it was acquired second hand because it was gone. Just <laughs> gone off the site. That's one thing with um, when you have clothing brands that do uh, much smaller batches of clothing and items. And when they have like smaller collections and they're not releasing like 20,000 things, uh, they do tend to they, they go away. If it's popular, just whoosh, is gone. And then it takes a lot longer to come back into stock because it's then they're trying to be sustainable and wonderful and all of those things. But I wanted it. I had a desire. So I went on to Mercari is probably where I, the majority of where I find my secondhand stuff. And it is this absolutely be it chocolate 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 brown this just absolutely disgustingly amazing i mean it's got all the little ties here it's got little little flippy flowy ties it's got a hood it's got a hood and it's got the only thing i do everything i love i love i love love obviously obviously i went searching for it i love 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 but the one thing don't like is it's got these zippers here right and it doesn't unzip all the way it's just it just it just zips and then it just st <laughs> stays like that and i would i would love it if i could wear this just open as a you know flowy throwy whatever but i can't and that's okay and i will figure it out but i just i just I love all the little tying in here and again it's just a bit like fairy core, fairy grunge, cottage something something, 90s, Y2K, fairy 90s dream. And it does make sense that with like uh, the brand, it like this makes sense, but I love the way that basically everything I've got from them, it all plays really, really well together. There's, you can see a common theme of styling throughout um, all of their collections. And it just, I just, I just want to go through a field with a twirly whirly skirt and this and just be like, ha, let the fae take me away. And this next one is probably like, I mean, I love this. I love this. I love the skirts. There are so many different, different things, but I love, love everything about this is absolutely everything I could want it to be. This is again, I had to go, go find it, go forage through the interwebs to get hold of this thing. And it is this just oh it's not even getting done justice here it is just it's this beautiful cardigan it has this butterfly outlay thing it has these these beautiful drapey drapey i love the fact that it goes up in the back and then down in the front it gives a lovely silhouette you're not sitting on it it is just structured and styled and created perfectly. This runs exceptionally oversized. I got it in a large because I've got weird body dysmorphia things and I constantly see my body as varying different sizes. So sometimes I'm like, oh, my body is huge. I need extra large, whatever quadruple sizing. I could have gotten away with the medium. I like it in the large. The medium would have been just a little bit more fitted, a little bit more fitted, but words cannot, cannot describe, give me just, 
one moment, please. Just ready to go be an extra, a character on a 90s young teen TV show. Give me Buffy, give me Charmed, give me absolutely everything I I got this because I fell in love with like the design online, but words cannot express how much I love where this is my favorite, favorite cardigan, favorite sweater aside from that one you just saw me wear. It is just it keeps you warm too because it's 100% acrylic. <laughs> it doesn't breathe. But oh, it is. Just, I'm gonna wear this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the video. Then the next like a uh, sweater material type thing was another thing I had to go hunting, diving for. And it is, again, give me everything that I loved about the 90s. Everything that was done well. I always say when it comes to certain uh, era revival fashion, it's like you have to take the elements that were done well, parts of because not every era is, per no era is perfect. You're like, oh, all the fashion from it. Elements. Elements were really well, but don't bring back everything. Don't bring back everything. And this is just a beautiful taste. I love this with just a very simple slip dress underneath it, a nice pair of chunky boots, and just looking all kinds of cute and adorable. I do wish this was like a little bit of a, of a, of a thicker knit just because I'm paranoid about my clothes and I'm like, oh, it's going to catch. It's going to whatever. It's got really, really nice lining down here. Three ties right here. It's just really, really cute. Very, again, teen, Y2K, Buffy, Willow, Tara going all in that area. And the last actual uh, sweater material item is something I got because I loved what it looked like aesthetically that I had no idea I was gonna, I haven't worn this one out yet, but I have styled it multiple times and it, I, I don't know what it is, but I absolutely fell in love with this again, with a dress, with, I've layered this over a whole bunch of different things. This with, just a moment, this right here with this skirt that, I can't remember if I thrifted this one or if I stole it from my mom. Pretty sure I stole it from my mom, but like, like, <laughs> do you see, do you, <laughs> it's just, it's perfection. It was made to be. Oh, that's an outfit I need to wear. Just even get you a cute black t-shirt and throw that over it and you are good to go. I just, I love all the nitty and all the texture and all the nineties and the layering. It's just absolutely love it next up is a piece that i i wish i had gotten in um a larger size i'm not sure what i was expecting i guess i expected it to just be this is where the whole uh inconsistent anorexic junior sizing comes into play because this is a large this is a large and i understand fit and style and whatever but it's a little little teeny <laughs> i understand in the 90s there are a lot of little teeny weeny tops but there's there's not, <laughs> it's like a layering thing, but I've got a 38 rib cage. And so it's like busting barmaid at the seams here. Obviously I'd wear a tank top under it, but even then it's, it's fighting for dear life up in here. It's, I love the colors. I love the stripes. It's the same as that, as that other knitted duster, but just, <laughs> it's cute. But I'm just, I'm, I'm, I pulled it out and I was like, Ooh. Ooh, goodness me. I'm actually getting real flashbacks to the 90s and where the body dysmorphia all began. Because if there was something the 90s loved, it was an itty bitty teeny weeny top and low rise jeans. So I have to see about this one. I haven't really, I tried it on and I was like, <gasps> I haven't really touched it since then. So it's got again, the really cute, it's, it looks perfect. It just walked out of, you know, Adelia's catalog, but just the sizing, that kind of just, whoo, shocked me a bit. This here is one that's not very, it's 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 not like, ooh, art, it, it was just, I think it was on sale and it was cute and it just says fragile. It's the type of thing where I'm like, same, I understand. I love the little cherub whatever. It's just a freaking sweatshirt. I love the fact that it is a sweatshirt though, that is not disgustingly like hot and fuzzy inside. It's still like nice and delicate and light, but not like paper light. I have never ever been good at describing just about anything. I can write, 
I can write, but put me up here like this, not so much. But this was just a really cute, I'm pretty sure this was earlier on in there. I'm not entirely sure, but it was just it's on sale. It was cute. Just throw it on. Jeans, purse, you are good to go. We are a fragile millennial. And then last, but certainly not least, is this lovely. I have not acquired the um, confidence to wear this yet because this one is nice and cropped and it also shows a lot of here which i'm kind of cover it up and it's it's, it's really really tight i got this in a xl <laughs> and it's eh, it's real tight it's real tight but it's got all of these wonderfully this is like the perfect fairy core fairy grunge cottage core fairy you know you're kind of getting a vibe, a, a overall look at the aesthetic I'm going for. I love the colors. I love the patchwork. I love the frayed, frayed everything here. It's got the lattice and everything. Again, everything absolutely going for it. All I need is some low rise jeans, some platform flip flops and the bucket hat and we are good to go. I will leave down below, um, hopefully the, with the links and the names of everything, as well as the size that I got and I will try my best to leave if the size runs small because I understand being a 32 year old woman, I do not have the body of a teenager. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. But I am, I was fairly familiar with Dolls Kill sizing, Hot Topic sizing, but their junior sizing, even in a lot of things, runs pretty small for what sizing it says. Those skirts, that fit me, I forgot to mention that. These ones right here, I originally got it in a 2XL because I was trying to err on the side of caution. I had to return it and get a 3XL, which is absolutely demoralizing even for a junior sizing. Then while we're here, I'm just gonna throw in a couple things that I got from Huff which I'm not sure how much of a sustainable slow whatever. I'll be doing uh, videos later talking about the difference between fast fashion and slow fashion and sustainable, and that'll be a whole thing. But I love this brand. They have another really nice aesthetic. This is one of the most luxurious pieces of fabric I have ever put to my body. It is luxurious. It is beautiful. It is expensive. So for that, it better be it better be luxurious and it's got this cute real pretty i love the brown or whatever this is like green base puke brown with the green and this it's just again a little bit a little bit of an edge a little bit of a modern bit to like my 90s thing going on this one i got from Paxson because it was sold out on their site and a couple other places so i did have to track this one down but Really glad I did, and I need to wear it more. I need to be better about wearing the clothes that I buy. That's We're going to be seeing that as a trend here, is working through and actually wearing what I have. Then it's just this, this nice, again, I like the stripes, I like the long sleeves, I like the crop. This is something that you can wear cute with a skirt, with jeans. It's cute under something, cute with this. It's got the color story that I'm going for. Has the branding here. I couldn't care less about that, but... Again, colorway, it's just looking really cute. This next one is one that makes me all, all sorts of, sorts of happy. My girlfriend was all like, I like that one. That's cool looking. I'm like, isn't it though? I want her to, I actually need to take it to see her try it on because I think it'd look really good on her. But it's just this beautiful, amazing, chocolatey, delicious brown with a mushroom. What is more fairy, cottage core, whatever, that whole thing is a, Thing and a fashion trend and everything right now and it's just cute and oversized and soft and squishy and I need to wear these things before it becomes the summertime in Virginia and it's it's it's, it's hotter than a devil's ball sack out there and I don't want to have none of that so it's just so pretty it's like a mohair they used all kinds of fancy words and whatever it's like a mohair this jacquard whatever but I'm like it's a sweater it is a sweater, okay? I understand you're using all kinds of fancy materials and such, but it's a freaking sweater. Very cute sweater, but it's a sweater. And the last sweater is this beauty right here. 
again, mushrooms and this. I'm actually going to be doing a video when we are discussing fast fashion. Um, I was scrolling through Facebook and I got a ad for, I don't even know which one it was. There's a plethora of them. And it had this sweater on it and it was Patrick and whatever, but the leaves on here aren't, aren't the leaves that they are here. They were just like leaves on that one. And I was like, that looks, that looks, that looks familiar. That looks a little bit stolen, a little bit sus. Again, this is a cardigan I need to just throw on and start wearing like I do that stripe one because I have a tendency when I get my clothes, I put them here and this is where they stay. In, in, in the safe, the safe lane. We mustn't wear them, mustn't use them out, mustn't let them get any sort of, and I'm trying to get over that because if I'm gonna get clothes are meant to be worn, they're meant to be worn and used and whatever. And so I'm probably gonna pull this out and wear this out this weekend when I go see my girlfriend because she'll like it and I wanna see what she looks at it too. And that was all of it and I'm actually feeling a lot cuter now than I was when I started the video. So love that for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said earlier, I will try my best to leave links and everything down below because it's a bit of a, a bit of a buzzkill to be like, ooh, look at this nice thing. And someone's like, yay, what is it? Where do I get it? And there is no road that leads to said item. If any of y'all have any suggestions about like sustainable fashion or any sort of like y2k 90s that kind of fashion suggestions i would love to hear those down below let me know what you thought of everything and thank you all so much for watching i hopefully will see you in the next one i love y'all and as always keep it real and stay safe